Right, okay, what I'm going to show you now is actually how to use the weighing scales to weigh out dry food. Um, if you have a little look on the weighing scales, you'll notice that there's this little red line. That tells us how much is in our bowl and will go up and down and will give us the weight. But it always has to start on zero. And we always use kilograms rather than pounds, mainly because most of our recipes will be in kilograms. But you should always check your recipes and as you can see here it says 250 grams so all you do to change where the red line is is use in the little grip is push it around so it is on the zero now my recipe is telling me that I need 250 grams of flour if you have a little look at the the lines you can see that they are roughly there is roughly four per 100 or there is four per hundred which means that there is, that is 25 grams now i can see that my third large line is actually on 200 grams what i want to do is actually go two small lines past that and not much more and not much less you want to be as accurate as possible with this because it will actually affect the taste of your dish i would always recommend when you're doing this using a spoon because you have greater control rather than just pouring so put in one spoon at a time until you have the required amount.